So it's carnival season in New Orleans and everybody's excited. They get to go to Mardi Gras parades. They got parades everywhere. Parades pretty much starting this weekend all the way through Mardi Gras. They got a parade somewhere. People are going to get together. They're going to go out and they're going to act a fool. They're going to get themselves in all kind of trouble. And some of them ain't going to think about what's going to happen behind the actions that they're going to take. And guess where they're going to wind up? Jail. That's right. You're going to wind up spending the night or spending a long time in Orleans Parish Prison. And believe me, you don't want to be in Orleans Parish Prison. So as you begin to set and plan your plans to come down to New Orleans for Mardi Gras. You know, a lot of people are coming into the city during this type of year. A lot of people are making their plans. They done made their plans way in advance because their whole thing is they want to come to New Orleans and act a fool. They want to get together with their friends and they want to come down here and get drunk and get loaded and do some stupid things. And they think they can come to New Orleans because it's the wild, wild west. New Orleans may, in fact, be the wild, wild west because people get killed pretty much every night or every day in New Orleans. But it's not the wild, wild west. There are laws in New Orleans. And you're not thinking about the laws. You're thinking about coming down here and doing stupid things and getting drunk and having fun. All for Mardi Gras B. That's right. You coming down to New Orleans because you want to you want to do stupid things so you can get these little plastic toys, these little plastic beads that you put around your neck and you go home and you display them. If you're from somewhere else around in the country or somewhere else in the world, you know, I can I can get it, you know, because New Orleans is an exciting thing. You know, there's a, there, it's fun. Mardi Gras is something like unlike anywhere in the world. And they, they get to hang these Mardi Gras beads at home as a trophy. I got this in Mardi Gras. I caught this bead here. It's a memory. It, it serves a purpose. I get it. You know, it's something you enjoyed to do. But if you think you're going to come to New Orleans and do stupid things and that there's no consequences for your stupid decisions, you need to rethink it because you don't want to wind up in Orleans Parish Prison because the people in Orleans Parish Prison don't care that you just came down here to have fun. Those people who are in there are thugs, gangsters and killers. And they don't care about you and they're going to victimize you in Orleans Parish Prison. New Orleans has a very, very brutal prison system. All you got to do is go online and Google or research things that have happened inside New Orleans jails. And them dudes don't just have shanks. They got guns. These dudes got real straps. There are videos of dudes racking back rounds inside chambers inside Orleans Parish Prison. They getting guns. They going to the Mardi Gras, strapped up, celebrating Mardi Gras, and then they going back to the Orleans Parish Prison to spend the night so the guards can make, make sure they're there for counting. And now you're going to go to the Mardi Gras, get drunk, and get in a fist fight, and you're going to wind up in there with them killers. What you think is going to happen to you in Orleans Parish Prison? Probably something bad if you ain't about that life. You see, you come into New Orleans and it ain't just the fact that you can wind up in prison, but it can tarnish your life. You come into New Orleans and let's say you are male or female because it's full of debauchery. You want to go to Bourbon Street and you want to get one of these. You see, this thing says the all kind of stuff in New Orleans with these bees. It shows the Orleans Parish Sheriff symbol, but it says something different. It's, you know, it's basically a symbol that's saying, hey, you can do what you want. It represents one of the parades and it's just a bead that I found. You know, to, for the purpose of this video, I, I went and dug through my garage and found this. But let me tell you something. You're going to do something stupid for this Mardi Gras bead. You're going to think you can come to New Orleans and you can show your breast or your genitals or your backside. And you think it's OK. The law says in New Orleans, you can't expose yourself. You think you can come to New Orleans in this open game on Bourbon Street for you to reveal your breast, which is stupid, might I add, for a bead. You want a bead. They're going to put you in jail. There are still laws that says you cannot expose yourself in public like that. So the Orleans Parish Police Department or the, or the state police are going to see you do that. And you're going to wonder what's going on when they're putting handcuffs on you. And on top of that, somebody might be filming you. And for that one moment... For this bead, for one moment to get this bead, you're going to expose yourself. And now you might make 
a viral clip, a viral video, and you really was just drunk and you're not that type of person, but you got caught in the moment, you're going to jail. So now you got to, you're going to have an arrest record. You're going to, let's say you're out of state. You're going to have to travel back to Louisiana to go to court. Don't come here thinking that you're just going to act and do what you want. Like I said, thinking it's the wild, wild west. There are consequences. You can't expose yourself in public in Louisiana. You can't, there's no, there's no open time like during carnival season, you're allowed to expose yourself in public. No, that's not the way it works. There's laws against that. Don't come to Louisiana to act a fool. Come to Louisiana to enjoy the culture, the food. If you're going to come celebrate Mardi Gras, I personally wouldn't because there's just a lot of trouble out there. And I know from experience, I mean, I, growing up in the New Orleans area, I've been going to Mardi Gras since I've been a, you know, was a teenager. So I had pretty much had Mardi Gras out of my system by the time I was hit 20 something, you know, my early twenties, I was, for the most part, I was done with it. You know, I've been to a parade occasionally here and there, but I don't even go every year. You know, it might be three, four, five years and I might not even go to a parade. But if you feel like that's something you want to celebrate and that you have to do, keep in mind, there are still laws in place. You can't do whatever you want during Mardi Gras time. You can't come here and commit crime. You can't come here and act an idiot and expect that there's no consequences. And let me tell you something. I've been to prison and in prison, there was a lot of people I met who came here to celebrate Mardi Gras and who wound up spending years here. And that wasn't because they decided to move their family to Louisiana because they got a great job offer. No, it was because they came here for Mardi Gras and they got caught doing something stupid, a fist fight where someone got hurt. They had drugs on them because they were getting high and loaded, having fun. And they wound up in prison. When I was in prison, I met quite a few people who were from out of state who wound up doing time in Louisiana. And you know what they all said when you talk to them over time? Man, once I go back home, I ain't never coming back to Louisiana. I ain't never coming back for the Mardi Gras. I ain't never coming back to this state again. Why? Because they came here and did something stupid and they had the wrong reasons in their mind on why they came to New Orleans and Louisiana. And now they don't want to come back. See, now it left a bad taste in their mouth. Instead of thinking about king cake, they spitting it out because it tastes bitter. And king cake's supposed to be sweet and taste good. They didn't come here to enjoy king cake. They came here to get loaded, expose themselves, and do stupid things. Don't come to Louisiana and do nothing stupid. Remember, in Louisiana, we also have carnival season, but we have the highest recidivism rate, the highest incarceration rate in the world. In the world. Per 100,000 people per capita, we incarcerate more people than any place on earth. So if you come to Louisiana, there's a good chance you're going to come for carnival and you're going to wind up doing a prison sentence. Don't come here and do anything stupid. Hey, you could laugh and joke with me. You could say that this dude's crazy. I've been to carnival time many times. It only takes one time. And of course, more people are going to get away with it. But there's always going to be somebody who's going to get caught, caught up. Don't embarrass yourself. Don't make a fool out of yourself during carnival season. Come down here and enjoy the carnival and enjoy the food and enjoy the people. Southern hospitality is real. But don't get yourself caught up and wind up in prison because Louisiana will lock you up. They will make you do time. And they won't think twice about it. When that judge slams that gavel down, and you take that plea bargain, you're going to be feeling different about carnival season. So come down here with a right mind, not a foolish heart. You've got to think about it before you do it. And like I said, if you come into New Orleans and come into Louisiana, it's a great place to be. It's like no place on earth. But don't come down here thinking that you're just going to come down here and disrespect law enforcement and disrespect and dishonor the laws because you're going to wind up in jail. Anyway, give me a like, thumbs up, subscribe to my new channel, Southern Crime and Incarceration, where we're going to discuss all things crime and incarceration and prison related. And we're going to get into the real because I've been locked up and there's a lot to talk about. Let's get it.